Hi everyone, my name is William and very happy new year to everybody and welcome to the first video of 2024. Now 2024 is set to be an exciting year with many new launches due to an increased government land sales last year. And with so many new launches out there, you might be feeling lost. And that is why I've created this video, the ultimate guide to new launches 2024 edition. Since it's going to be a really long list, I've actually broken down the video into three parts. This first video is part one where we'll cover OCR properties and the subsequent videos I'll release will cover the RCR and the CCR. Now, if you are interested to receive the ultimate guide to new launches 2024 edition, click on the link in the description below, fill up the Google form and I'll be happy to send the PDF to you. So without further ado, let's go. There are over 40 projects set to launch in 2024 and many of them are still lacking in key information like price. Hence, for these videos, I will not be doing a 15 minute deep dive because there simply isn't enough time and information yet. Eventually, when a project is launched, I will definitely do a more in-depth analysis. So please subscribe to the channel to be notified whenever I release a new video. For this guide, the analysis will be streamlined into ranking these projects based on a tiered ranking system. This will allow me to compare projects holistically, notwithstanding the price. I've also excluded all the small and boutique developments from this list because they behave like a totally different asset altogether and will likely score poorly. Some of the key factors that I'll be considering when ranking these projects are quality factors such as developers track record, facilities and size of development, location factors such as proximity to the MRT, amenities and 1km to good schools, appreciation potential factors such as URA transformation, future government land sales, and existing resale performance. Exit strategy factors such as supply and demand in the area, who are the potential buyers, and more. In 2024, there will be 12 OCR new launches, of which two are ECs. So first up, we have Hillhaven. Hillhaven will be launched very soon, and it is the fourth 99-year condo after Kingsford Hillview Peak, the Hillier, and most recently, Midwood. Now developed by Far East and Sekisui, it's walking distance to Hillview MRT, and based on the latest transactions at Midwood, I'm guessing that prices will average at about $2,200 per square feet. What I like is the design of the condo. With 341 units, we still get full facilities like a tennis court. The location is also good with Hillview MRT and Hill V2 Mall for your daily amenities. However, it does lack a top school within 1km. In terms of upside, I think that the 99-year resale performance there is still decent and there will be more GLS to come. What I don't really like is the exit strategy. There are at least 12 condos within 500 meters of Hillhaven and I think this high supply will be an issue. In addition, there are also other freehold options here that I prefer. So all in all, I rate Hillhaven a B. Next, we have the first and maybe only EC in 2024, Lumina Grand. Lumina Grand is directly next to Altura EC which was launched in August 2023 and is 87% sold to date. Developed by reputable CDL, it is a good size EC and while it is not really walkable to the NMRT, the key draw is being 1km to the newly relocated ACS Primary which was completed in 2030. By the time you reach MOP around 2032, much of the amenities would also be up and ready. So the upside potential is also pretty clear with a huge pool of Tenga HDB upgraders who have also reached their MOP. As such, I rate Lumina Grand an A. If you are in the market searching for an EC, I think that you should just get Lumina Grand because the next one called Tenga Plantation Loop will probably only launch at the end of this year or first quarter of 2025. The biggest draw of the Tengah Plantation Loop EC is its very close proximity to Tengah Park MRT. Developed by Hoi Hub and Sunway, it's a standard EC of about 500 plus units and it shares all the positives of Lumina Grand. It is also within 1km of a good school, Princess Elizabeth. So on paper, this is a great project and I rank it an A. However, why I say if you want an EC in Tengah, just get Lumina Grand is mostly down to price and timing. Altura EC has sold at an average PSF of $1,474. So Lumina Grand will likely be above $1,500 per square feet. 
but Tengah Plantation Loop EC is the current record EC bid, $90 per square feet more than Lumina Grand. Hence, I think that the probability of this EC launching less than $1,600 per square feet is pretty low. So if you are an EC buyer, just go ahead and grab Altura or Lumina Grand because as an EC buyer, you should actually buy to wait and not wait to buy. Next, we'll be heading to the Lentor area where there will be three new launches in 2024. I've done a much more in-depth analysis called The Ultimate Guide to Lentor New Launches and I've left that link in the description below, so please check it out. First up is Lentoria. Developed by TID, this is one of the furthest plot to Lentor MRT, the smallest with 267 units and also the highest land cost. The only saving grace is that this entire development is within 1km of St. Nick's Girl School. With Lentor's high supply, if you have a holding period of less than 5 years, I think there are better options. Hence, I rate Lentoria a not so good C. Next up is Lentor Mansions, which will likely launch after Chinese New Year. If you watch my Lentor video, you will know that this is my favorite development in the Lentor area. This is one of the largest land plots with 533 units, and most importantly, it is 100% within 1km of St. Nick's. One important consideration for buyers who want a one bedroom in the area is that Lentor Mansions will start from two bedrooms. So you could actually consider the other developments like Hillock Green. On the other hand, I think this is great news for Lentor Mansions unit mix as we always want a development that attracts more home buyers than investors for future resale appreciation. With all the boxes ticked, I believe that this is the best development to get and enjoy the upside coming from Lentor's transformation into a new township. I would love to rate this an S, but ultimately Lentor has high supply, so I'll bump it down a little to A plus to account for that. The third and final Lentor new launch in 2024 is Lentor Central Residences, which is located at the top left of the cluster next to Hillock Green. With 475 units, this is a good sized development built by reputable developers. However, Lentor Central is not within 1km of St. Nick's, hence it also doesn't score well and I give it a C. Next up, we have the former Trump Park. Now many people consider Lorong Chuan to be in the city fringe, but if I adhere very strictly to the boundary lines, it actually falls slightly outside the RCR regions. So for the purposes of this video analysis, I've kept the former Trump Park in the OCR video series. Jointly developed by Kingsford and MCC Land, the former might raise a few eyebrows due to its bad track record. However, their latest development, Lormenton Park, with just TOP, was by far one of the best quality developments of 2023. So I think Kingsford have already been slapped on the wrist and will hopefully learn from those mistakes and do a similarly good job over here. Apart from that, Trump Park ticks all the boxes we want. It is 1km to good school in Yangzhen, and most importantly, resale performance is strong in the area. It will also be the first new launch in over 10 years, the last building, the Scala, which recently transacted at about $1,800 per square feet. So I expect pricing to be around $2,400 per square feet, given its newer lease. Considering all the points above, I would have ranked Trump Park an S, but we bump it down a little to A+, due to the developer Kingsford. Why the former Trump Park is one of my top picks in 2024 is because it is the only city fringe new launch that is located directly next to an MRT, it has a good school, and it's also a mega development with 916 units. Next, let's head over to the far west where we have Sora, the second development to launch along Jurong Lake after Lake Garden Residences. The developers have a good track record, the size is pretty standard at 440 units, and the biggest draw is its unblocked views of Jurong Lake. While there is a lot of hype around Jurong Lake District transformation, I just don't see a lot of positives for Sora. Firstly, it is the furthest away from the MRT, there isn't a good school, and I think resale demand will be muted as HDB upgraders will likely choose other developments closer to Lakeside MRT, such as Lakeview or Lake Ren. Hence, Sora is rated a C. If you are a home buyer who really likes Druong Lake and will want those unblocked views, 
then I would highly recommend you to just get Lake Garden Residences that is already launched. I've also done a video analysis of that project and I left the link in the description below for you to check it out. Next, we have Clementi Avenue 1 Government Land Sales. Developed by MCL and CSC who have good track records, this is again a good sized development of 500 units. However, we are a distance from Clementi MRT. And while there are many good secondary and tertiary schools around us, it does lack a top primary school. This was one of the most hotly contested government land sales in 2023 with six bidders. It is also the last plot in the area after Clement Canopy and Clavon. So buyers will no longer enjoy the first mover advantage anymore. What I do like a lot is its very strong resale performance, which is driven by a very large pool of HDB upgraders who will pocket large profits. All in all, I rate Clementi Avenue 1 a B. From the west, let's head over to the east to one of the most anticipated developments at Tampanese Avenue 11. This is an area where HDB brought us many memorable photos in 2023. Developed by UOL, Singapore Land and Capital Land, this will be a mega integrated development linked to Tampanese North MRT and bus interchange. Residents will also enjoy a community club and hawker center. I also like that there are future government land sales around this plot and its integrated status will make it a top choice among resale buyers in the future. The exit strategy is also very clear with over 8 clusters of HDB upgraders, many of which will have reached its MOP by the time this TOP is in 2028. The only small negative is its lack of a top school, although there are other options with Angsana and Meridian Primary within 1km. Hence, I think Tampanese Avenue 11 ticks many boxes and deserves a clear S rank. Going further east to Flora Drive, we have a new launch called Cassia. Located next to the Inflora, this is the only freehold OCR launch in our list in 2024. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of good things to say about this development. Firstly, it is not near any MRT or good schools and historically, Flora Drive is a predominantly owned stay area with limited transformation and limited investor demand. In addition, I find that the land plot is really awkward and narrow, and with so much supply and competition around us, I foresee this will be a huge turnoff to resale buyers next time. Hence, I'm sorry, but I think Cassia is deserving of a D rank. Finally, we'll head to the north for our last stop at Woodlands Champion Way. This is a mid-sized development with 348 units, so hopefully CDL can do some magic and give us full facilities. There are certainly a lot of things to like about this development. We are located just 280 meters to Woodland South MRT, where there will also be a future mixed-use or integrated development. There are primary school options, although not top-ranking ones. The upside potential will come from the Woodlands Regional Centre transformation. Over the next 15 years, new spaces for business, industry, R&D, and learning and innovation will be introduced to Woodlands Regional Centre on over 100 hectares of land. We are also one stop away from Woodlands Central MRT, which will be a regional business and transport hub with office and retail developments. What's more, the RTS link will connect the Bukit Chaga station in JB with the RTS link at Woodlands North Station. Together with the development's first mover advantage in a high transformation area and a huge pool of HDB upgraders, Champions Way deserves an S rank. Well, that was a really long list and I think this is going to be one of the longest video I've ever done. Now let's take a look at the summary and see how all the OCR launches stack up to one another. I think 2024 will be a great year for all types of buyers who will benefit from this increased supply. Developers will want to price more reasonably and compete with one another. And as a buyer, you get to compare and weigh your options to make an informed decision. My top picks are Lentor Mansion, Former Trump Park, Tampanese Avenue 11, and Champions Way. Now I can only imagine how overwhelming it's going to be so that is why I do all the research so you do not have to. If you are a buyer who likes numbers, data, and a systematic approach to property, do reach out to me on WhatsApp 
or you can also fill up the Google form, which I left a link in the description below. I'll create a customized game plan for you and deliver the value you need to help you achieve your property goals and objectives in 2024. And with that, we've come to the end of part one of the ultimate guide to new launches in 2024. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified of our next video where we'll cover RCR new launches in 2024. I'll see you in the next video.